Could we put Nicolas Cage's face in there instead of Tom Cruise? <laughs> if you can, you can try. <laughs> Maybe the next image, what happens when you press the buttons. So the idea is that if you press any of the three buttons at this point, the, uh, the processor, the controller should go into the next phase of working where I have just my name and Top Gun displayed over there, but you can have another image of, of your choice put up, uh, in place of that. Whatever you feel convenient, as long as it's not um, anything that can disturb other people. <laughs> <laughs> and also notice what's happening with the LEDs. Uh, you can have any pattern of LEDs uh, working, I am alternating between the red and the green LEDs over here, but you can do whatever pattern you want, including the train sequence that you have to lap to. Any pattern is, is acceptable over here. Uh, quick question, is it going in a clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction? Or as they say in America, counter-clockwise direction. <laughs> <laughs> but it depends if you're left brain or right brain, you'll see it going clockwise or anti clockwise. Um, at this point, pressing any of the buttons again should start the game, but it should start in the pause state. The game is paused until you say that the game can resume. So if you see over here, when I press any of these, it went into the paused state. And the game has started over. It crashed immediately. But the idea is that you have your plane on the left side of the screen, 
and you have oncoming planes from the right side. And you have to dodge these uh, oncoming flights by using switch one and switch two. Switch one makes your plane go up, switch two makes your plane go down. And you have to keep dodging them. You can increase the speed of the game by controlling the potentiometer. The more ABC value you give on the potentiometer, the faster the game gets, the lower, uh, the slower the game goes. And if your plane crashes, as you can see over there, like my plane has crashed, it shows that image of it exploding. And the game stops. So you can keep playing this game over and over. Like I press switch four to reset the whole thing. Press any of the buttons, go into the next mode. Press any of the buttons. It goes into the pause state. And only when I press switch three will the game start. So as you can see, I'm just trying to dodge these planes as they keep coming. And once I crash, it should show that they may jump in crashing. Um, you can take this to the next level and increase the game, increase the speed of the game based on how many planes you've touched. As you keep dodging the planes, you can keep increasing the speed of the game and you can have sort of like a scorecard up there too. I'm leaving that up to you guys to decide how you want to do it, if you want to add any more features. But this is the requirement that you have to have at least this four game. Okay? After that, it's up to you. If you're trying to increase the speed of the game uh, based on how many plays you've dodged, then you have to remove the, the function that allows the potentiometer to increase the speed of the game. Because then you are in real time increasing a counter value and based on how it's increased, the speed of the game increases. So that's up to you to decide how you want to do it. But at least this should work this way. I just wanted to demonstrate how the speed of the game changes uh, with the potentiometer. As you can see, the game is going much slower right now. So, and as I increase, So it's running a code by which it's checking when the planes are in range of each other and then it crashes. So you can increase the speed of the game or decrease it by using the uh, potential. Any questions? All right.